Hey, my friends, Kenny Chapman here, the Blue Collar Coach, coming to you with a little Monday miracle message. So here's the thing. We just had our acceleration days last week and had a bunch of clients in town, a bunch of friends in town, a bunch of our clients are friends and <clears throat> a lot of things going on, right? Several people stayed over. We had the uh, phenomenal football game Thursday night. A bunch of people stayed in town Friday Saturday still some clients and so <clears throat> I've got some work I'm doing. I got a project that I'm trying to nail down that I'm working on diligently. <clears throat> and so what happens is we had clients that stay the weekend. And then yesterday there was even a NASCAR race that some other clients and friends were going to and we were supposed to go to that. <clears throat> Last week I talked to you about balance and harmony. And I've got this project, and I've got this deadline, and we had this phenomenal event. Hey, Dan, Chris, good to see you, brother. Hope everything's going awesome. Um, Dan, good good week last week, man. Can't wait for to continue on building. <clears throat> but um, so here's the thing, right? So I talk about balance and harmony and, and these different things. And so I made a judgment call, and I pulled the plug on going to the NASCAR race yesterday and told our clients and friends, look, I've got some stuff I've got to do. I've I've got the um you know the clock's kind of ticking on me <clears throat> i'd love to go to the race but i really want to launch that launch this uh project that i'm that i'm working on and i've got a lot of behind the scenes stuff right so you're faced with your decision the same is going to happen to you today the same is going to happen this you know it's monday in the u.s you're getting pulled different directions you're already into your week in australia right and so what happens is we we kind of can hit the week with resistance. Some of us woke up this morning and wanted to hit the snooze button, right? And so when you hit the snooze button in the morning, I want you to think about what that means because really what you're doing when you're pressing that button, you're saying, universe, I'm not ready to play yet. I don't like what I'm doing enough to have passion to get out of bed. <clears throat> can we just wait until another time? And then what happens? You end up sometimes living your entire life like that, right? So I've been out of balance schedule-wise, time-wise, um, <clears throat> with you know the hours that we've been putting in, but I'm in harmony with my purpose and mission in my life. So I made the judgment call. We missed the race. I worked probably 15 hours yesterday, maybe, but uh, Kristen's staying with us. The ladies went and they did some shopping. They had some work to do too, but... I buried in and I got a bunch of work done. Now we're going to the desert with clients today and we're going out and ride side by sides around and check out a bunch of cool things and, and different stuff like that. But what happens is <clears throat> you've got to make those conscious choices. You know, what's the reality with clients in town, with people around, I, I could have gone all day, every day, just anything and everything. Right. But you got to draw the line. I'm, I'm a business guy. I got a project coming that's going to change people's lives and different things. And I'm working diligently on this. And that takes time. That takes focus. That takes intention. What about you? What about your week? Here it's um, Ellen. What's happening, girl? Great to great to see you. We need to talk soon, too. Um, but, you know, when <clears throat> when you look at your week as you get started and go, OK, it's Monday. Monday morning. Is it a Monday miracle? Is it um, that like the great book, Miracle Morning? Is it is it a miracle that you're up this morning? Or is it, oh my God, just another day, just another. See, when you find your passion, now I'm saying life's ebbs and flows, right? You're, you're going to have your your peaks and your valleys and I'm I'm here in Arizona and you're going to have a time when the the sun is shining and it is hot and it's 110 and it's 120 and then you're going to have times where you go back to my home in Colorado and it's winter time and it's freezing and it's cold and those different extremes drive different physiology within you when you woke up this morning as you jumped on this and you're kind of looking at what you're going to do how your day is going to look like what what your life is going to look like for this next period Realize, this week, some people have lost their lives. We all experience loss at different times, different ways. Sometimes we plan on it, sometimes we don't know. My father was killed in a tragic, tragic murder. What does that mean? I didn't know that was coming. The way he lived his life, I knew that was possible, of course, but I had no idea. See, we don't know what's going on. I'm going riding four-wheelers in the desert with some executive clients today, and we're going to have a blast. But 
sometimes people go and they don't come back. Now, I'm not planning on that. I hope I'll shoot a video when we get back just so you know. But, you know, sometimes we don't think about those things. And sometimes we need some perspective. We just finished our acceleration workshop here in Phoenix. And that acceleration workshop is two days to step back, get away, and say, look, I need some perspective. I need to get some gratitude. I need to realize that my problems, they're first world problems. My problem is, where's my... Oh, I'm shooting my phone. <laughs> Where's my cell phone? There you go. Where's my phone? Oh, I'm looking at it. I'm shooting on it, right? So, you know, my problem is what just happened. Oh, where's my phone at? Oh, the internet in my building. I'm sitting in the conference room. The people who live next door probably aren't loving me at the moment. But as, you know, when you look and I go, <clears throat> oh, connecting to the internet, that's a little slow or dang it, I shot this. Happened to me yesterday. I was working all day on on this project I'm talking about. And you'll know more coming next week, but... As I'm, I'm working diligently and I went for about an hour and a half and I didn't save my work. You know what that means? That means I started double saving. That means I started getting a jump drive out because, yes, I lost, I lost some of that work and I got frustrated. And I might have kind of yelled a bad word. I hope Tony, my neighbor, wasn't at home when it happened. I told the girls when they got back, I said... Hope Tony wasn't home because I kind of got upset and then I kind of have to laugh at myself, right? And I go, that's a first world problem because, yeah, I just created a bunch of stuff that I've got to recreate. But guess what? I get to recreate it because I got a brain. I got a mind. I got passion. I got purpose. I got focus. I got desire and I'm ready and I'm ready for you to start tapping into that piece of you, that part of you that wants to release, that wants to embrace, that wants to say no to that bullshit that's still driving you, that roommate that's living in your head, that's keeping you down, that's holding you down, that's holding you back, that's stopping you from becoming all you can be. Yes, I'm an army guy. Yes, thank you for all of you that reached out and talked about different things for Veterans Day and all that. I'll give you my army this morning. Be all you can be. That's what I want. That's what you want. That's what God wants for you. It's your time. I want more. Until we talk, my friends, have a better than fantastic day. Cheers, everybody.